Hello players, this is Octo, and today for the bucket plugin, we're going to make a uh, plugin hook. Alright, and what that means is we're going to hook into the API or the uh, code that is written in another plugin. And we're going to use the methods and classes there uh, in our own project. Now, uh, you should only do this, uh, this is a little disclaimer here, you should only do this if they are open source or allow for hooking into um, otherwise you're on your own I can't help you with that uh, so if they do allow it they probably have documentation which means you'll have to find that online as well to see what their methods are um, so you'll have to do a little bit of research if you want to hook into a plugin uh, but I want to pick one that pretty much everyone uses which is factions really popular uh, a lot of servers run it I mean almost every server really now so uh, chances are you'll find some use for this and then you can take the knowledge from this video and move it to another plugin alright so let's open up Eclipse here and we're in hello world in the main one and what we're going to do is we are going to uh, basically import the jar files or factions into our project so the same way we added craft bucket and spigot, we're going to go to build path and configure build path on our project. We'll do that one more time. Right click the pro uh, project name, build path, configure build path, uh, and then hit add external jars. You can see I'm in my server folder here, build tools. Uh, we go down to plugins and we click factions. The factions jar, uh, if you don't have this, uh, there's a download link in. The description where you can go get it, as well as with massive core, you'll need the massive core jar. Uh, you should download a zip, I believe, and you can unzip that to get these two jar files. You can put them in your plugin file just like you uh, exported Hello World 2 into it. You can just copy and paste these two files, right? And um, it it should just work, All right? Perfect. So we're gonna hit OK for factions. We're going to add another one and add Massive Core. We'll need both of them. Factions and Massive Core work together. Because I'm, uh, if you use Faction Core, you, or I mean Factions and Massive Core, you probably already know that you need both running at the same time. So hit OK. And now when we go to our, I believe it's Reference Libraries, you can see Craft Bucket, Spigot, and we also have Factions and Massive Core. It means we'll get not only all the coding in Craft Bucket and Spigot, but Factions and Massive Core as well. You can do this for your own. You can see I could add uh, my teleport one uh, by exporting it into a jar file and then referencing that jar file here. Alright, so now that we've got uh, these jar files uh, in the build path, we're going to want to create a command here. And this command uh, will check whether or not we are actually in a faction. Uh, I know you can do that with the faction command already, but this is just an example. You can expand it further, I'm sure. You could uh, use an economy plugin to give them money for being in a faction, say, um, something like that. You give them items, who knows, whatever. Alright, so we're going to call it fcheck, just like that. And we're going to go ahead and import two objects here from factions and massive core. First one is the M player, that object right there, and we're going to call it MP. Alright, and that is going to be equal to mplayer.get. And this parameter here is going to be the player, just like that. All right, and you can see it automatically imported. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and import it here for you. There we go. I'm going to import it again. If it doesn't automatically import, you can do it this way: com.massivecraftfactions.entity. That's um, one of these two uh, that we did here. Uh, factions. All right. And we can use the M player object to uh, get information about the factions the player is in, his probably his alliances, his faction bank, his rank, stuff like that. So we just want to know what faction he's in and if that is like factions or not. Uh, so the faction object is another one you can get. Um, and we're going to call it faction. It's going to be equal to the M player here, MP dot get faction. So get faction is another one of those custom methods built into a factions.jar and we call it on the MP and it gives us a faction. 
All right, so we're going to have to import the object here, faction.entity, similar to the M player object. And now we have the faction uh, object for the player. Now, if you've played factions a lot, you may know that if your faction disbands or you're not in a faction for any reason, uh, you're actually still in a faction called Wilderness, okay? And it's Wilderness with the green name, I believe. All right, so we're gonna check, if we wanna know if they're in a faction, we're gonna check if they're not in this Wilderness faction, okay? So the not operator, all right? That's the exclamation mark, so it means if not, faction.getName, equals and we're going to look for the exact name of the wilderness faction which it looks on the screen like wilderness you think that would be it but it's actually a little more complicated we're going to need to include two characters here the minecraft formatting color code formatting character and the number two which is a uh, color code for green All right so these two right here is the uh, minecraft color code for green and that'll make the text green. So when they made factions, I don't know why they did this, but they included uh, the green color in front of the name. So you have to do this whole thing here if you want this code to work. Just how factions is, sorry about that. Uh, you can get this by Googling Minecraft formatting code and checking Gamepedia, the symbol, you can copy and paste it. All right, and then you can include the number two. So this is the wilderness faction. If you're in it, it means you're not actually in a faction. So if you're not, our wilderness, meaning you are in a faction. I'm sorry I'm going over it, but it's a little confusing. If you are in a faction, we're going to go ahead and send them a message that says, because we're checking, uh, check is the faction check. We're going to say check color dot green, because green is, you know, like success. You are indeed in a faction. Right. And then we're going to return true, because that's pretty much all it needs to do. You see it automatically imported chat color, and since I hover over it, I can see it says uh, net.md5 bungee. That's not correct. We want the bucket one. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of that there. And re-import it the correct way. Make sure that it's the correct one. Perfect. Uh, if you see an object that you haven't already imported, is not have a little red squiggly line under it, double check it up there in the imports. Because stuff like that happens all the time. Oh, excuse me. All right, and we're going to do a similar thing down here. If they are in the wilderness faction, all right, we're going to give them a red message that says, uh, you are not in a faction. Actually, we're going to say, a little melodramatic, you are factions. And the Perfect. And return true, and you're good. All right, so we got to add that to plugin YML. I've already got it saved here, so I'm just going to copy and paste it in here. Give me a second. There we go. Just like that. Uh, I'm not going to go over it again. And we should be good to export. Perfect, perfect. Alright. And um, I've got the server running. I'm going to go ahead and reload it. I'm going to reload it in front of you here. There we go, so you can get a look at what it looks like here with the uh, faction. You can see there's a lot of extra stuff now that we've installed faction because it's a huge plugin. <laughs> Alright, and um, even though we've been these weird symbols or messages, I mean, it seems like everything has enabled correctly. Excellent. So we're going to do uh, F check. You are factionless and alone. That is correct because I'm not actually in a faction. We can do slash uh, F. P, I think. What is it? F. Sorry, it's been a while for these factions. Uh, yeah, see, you can see right there, wilderness in green. That's what the little S, uh, the symbol in the two was yeah, to make it green. Wilderness does not allow you to show status. All right. So, um, if we create a faction, so F create, we're call it butts. <laughs> We've created now created the faction butts, and we do F check, which is our command. You are indeed in a faction. You could get the uh, name of the faction, and if you do F check, it could tell you what the faction's name is or what its age is. You could do a bunch of things. You could give them an item for doing it. You could, you know, go go crazy. Um, and you can do this with other plugins like Citizens or Shopkeepers or whatever. 
permissions, plugins, all of them. They they all allow you to hook into them. Uh, so you know, get creative. Look up documentation. If you need the links to anything, check the description of this video so you can download them. If you have any questions, I understand this one's a little difficult, so just let me know. Uh, and let's see what the next video is. Actually, I'm kind of curious. Um, that's not it. Go away. All right. Uh, the next video I think is going to be ooh, an important one. Uh, we're going to start debugging. Okay, so we're going to look at the error messages in our console. Like say this can't keep up. Does it sound? This is not an important one, but say you saw this and it says warning or error or something like that. Um, you can figure out where to find the problem in your code. It'll actually give you some advice, and you won't have to ask me questions as much. Not that I mind, but you know it'll save you guys some time. Alright, so leave a like and a subscribe if um, you're interested in that, and hit the little bell icon next to uh, the subscribe button, and you'll get a notification when the next video comes out. Alright, so I'll see you then. Good luck.